Daf Yomi, Tractate Bhava Batra, page 10b, top of the page, with the words, No snav, eno yodela mi no snav, etc. It is a type in which one gives the charity without knowing to whom he gave it. Um, they were discussing the type of charity which delivers from an unnatural death. So it's said on top of 10b, like we just said, it was, it's a type of charity when uh, it's given anonymously without knowing to whom he gave it. And the other one takes it without knowing from whom he took it. The Gemara explains, one gives it without knowing to whom he gave it. This serves to exclude the practice of Marukva who would personally give charity to poor people without their knowing he was the donor. The other one takes it without knowing from whom he took it. This serves to exclude the practice of Rabbi Abba, who would render his money ownerless so that poor people would come and take it without his knowing whom he helped although they would know from whom the money came. The Gemara asks, rather how then should one act to conceal his own identity and also remain ignorant of the identities of the recipients? The Gemara answers, the best method is to put the money into the charity purse. The Gemara raises an objection from what is taught in the Brighton. What should a person do to have male offspring? Rabbi Eliezer says he should distribute his money liberally among the poor. Rabbi Yehoshua says he should gladden his wife before engaging in the mitzvah of conjugal relations. Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov says a person should not donate a pruta to the charity purse unless a great and trusted individual like Rabbi Hanania ben Trajan is appointed as supervisor over it. This seems to indicate that putting money into the charity box is not always preferred. The Gemara answers when we say that putting money into the charity box is the preferred way to give charity. This is referring to when a man like Rabbi Hanani ben Tradion is appointed as a supervisor over it. The Gemara discusses other matters concerning charity. Rabbi Abahu says, Moses said before the Holy One, blessed be he, Master of the universe, with what shall the horn of Israel be exalted? God said to him with the passage of when you, arise, when you raise, in other words, Israel will be exalted by way of the donations and charity that they will give, as it is stated, when you raise the heads of the children of Israel, then shall they give. Exodus thirty twelve. And Rabbi Abahu says, they asked, King Solomon, son of David, how far does the power of charity extend? King Solomon said to them, Go out and see what my father David explained. He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Psalms 112, verse 9. Rabbi Abba said, It is derived from here how far the power of charity extends. He, he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the fortress of rocks. His bread shall be given. His water shall be sure. Isaiah thirty three sixteen. What is the reason that he, he shall dwell on high? His place of defense shall be the fortress of rocks. The, the fortress of rocks. Because his bread shall be given to the poor, and his water shall be sure. In other words, it shall be given faithfully, and he shall be 
trusted in the matter. Rabbi Abahu says they asked King Solomon, who is one who is destined for the world to come? King Solomon said to them, all those about whom it is stated, and before his elders will be his glory, Isaiah twenty four twenty three, referring to those who are honored in this world due to their wisdom. This is like the, the incident involving Yosef, son of Rabbi Yehoshua, who became ill and fainted. When he returned to good health, his father said to him, What did you see when you were not conscious? And Yosef said to him, I saw an inverted world. Olam hafuch ra'isi. Famous words. Olam hafuch ra'iti. Elyonim lemata v'tachtonim lemala. Those above... In other words, those who were, who were considered important in this world were below, insignificant. And those below, in other words, those who were insignificant in this world were above. Rabbi Yehoshua said to him, second here, Holy Rabbi Yehoshua said to him, um, just trying to get this Olam HaFuch Ra'isi I saw an upside down world. Want to get the gematria and then we'll continue. 878. Olam hafuch iti. Anyway. Um, when he returned to good health, his father said, What do you see? Oh, I saw an inverted world. Those above. In other words, those who were considered important in this world were below insignificant, while those below, in other words, those who were insignificant in this world were above. Rabbi Yeshua said to him, You have seen a clear world. The world you have seen is the true world, one in which one's spiritual and moral standing determines his true importance. Rabbi Yeshua further asked him, how, And how, how did... You see us, the Torah scholars there. Yosef said to him, Just as we are important here, we are important there. Okay. Yosef added, And I heard that they were saying in that world, Happy is the one who arrives with his studies in his hand. Ashrei Shibalakan Bitalmudo. Biado made a song out of that. And I also heard that they were saying those executed by the government enjoy such exalted status that no one can stand in their section. Gemara asks, Who are these martyrs to whom Yosef was referring? If we say he was referring to Rabbi Akiva and his colleagues who were killed by the Romans, this cannot be is their elevated status due only to the fact that they were martyred by the Roman government and nothing more? These men were exceptional in their piety and sanctity during their lives as well. Therefore, it is obvious that even without their martyrdom, they would still be greater than other people. Rather, it is referring to those like the martyrs of, Lo of Lod, who died for the sanctification of God's name, but were not Torah scholars. It is taught in a Brita. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said to his students, my sons, what is the meaning of that which the verse states, righteousness exalts a nation, but the kindness of the people, it's, uh, people is, the kindness of the people is sin. Proverbs 14, 34. Rabbi Eliezer answered and said, righteousness exalts a nation. These are the people of Israel, as it is written, and who is like your people Israel one nation on the earth first chronicles seventeen twenty one but the kindness of the people is sin, meaning that all the acts of charity and kindness that the nations of the world perform is counted as a sin for them since they perform them only to elevate themselves in, in, in prestige, and it is stated that 
they may sacrifice offerings of pleasing aroma to the God of heaven and pray for the life of the king and his sons. Ezra 6.10 Even though they donated offerings, they did so only for their own benefit. And we'll stop here and continue with part three. I'm sorry, not part three, part two. I'm tired. Part two of Doth B. I mean, Ahmed B.